what's up how's it going welcome back to the type qq channel as we check out a new game to the channel old game to the world murazaki which i'm sure i am butchering and not pronouncing correctly however continuing on it's not going to be quite a uh 1cc uh challenge as it is we're just going to go through it and see what we can unlock and complete I'm going with senor blue here um for the time being. We're going to change off to the other character in time be in, in due time. But first I suppose we should address the elephant in the room as in like what the fuck is happening? Now as you can tell this game um, is not necessarily a, a shmup in, in, in the purest forms. Although it does share a lot of techniques or at least attributes from such games. I would say this game is like a shoot 'em up with like billiards or pool <laughs> aspects to it. Um, as you can see, we're not shooting all the time. In fact, we can only have one live bullet if you're there even such things at the same time. One live shot. For this character, has he, he has a, like a, a long bullet that can actually bounce off the uh, screen and come back, which is handy. We can fire these slow moving bullets as well as the enemies. Some of the colored enemies either drop an extra bomb or some health. Um, both pretty handy, I imagine. I suppose. I suppose you could too. The key of it, however, I think the whole the whole crux, the whole elbow, the whole you know crotch bone of it all is is these weird. You, you can you can kind of tell now these blue and orange symbols, these large icons on the screen that when you hit them, they bounce around and then explode. The, the core strategy, I feel, is that you want to hit these guys into enemies, into bullets. However, the catch being, the more you hit that kind of bounce into each other, the larger the burst is going to be. So you can see that, that orange when we hit it. Um, solo wasn't too impressive, but when you start comboing them, they get pretty wide nasty and you know I suppose that de devastating as you can see right there as well and you may also notice that the orange bombs really only you know they only interact with orange in the blue only interact with blue so herein lies the difficulty of or at least the challenge of like what do you do you know do you do you spam your your shots or do you, you go for combos Thus, thus brings us to uh, the game at its core, and you so, sort of your on the fly, on the you know off the cuff strategy. Here we are with our level one boss. A strategy to do with the, uh, you know for your bosses is that you want to kind of cancel out their bullets with your explosions. So sometimes you know, of course you do want to shoot them in their in their in their body when you can. But I think you'll find the majority of your damage is when you cancel out their bullets with your explosions and then it turns into those like red spikes that go back into the boss. A little thing that we did just then was we picked up this like sort of red, sort of blood splatter, I'm not sure what, the, or ink splatter, and it kind of triggers this sort of like advanced super mode or super battle. So I figure what we'll try to do is complete those as much as we can. Just in case there is any um, unlockables or any sort of hidden content that we're missing if we don't pick that stuff up. You know, I figure, you know, while we're here, we might as well try to do it as right as we can. Of course, there's going to be stuff we're going to miss, but, you know, I think that's just what happens when we're not as, uh, we're, we're as, not as pro as we'd like to be. Still very scrub level. However, we're doing a good, we're doing some good, good work against her. Also, what you can probably notice is once we, you know, if we nudge against those jelly walls on the side, um, all the sort of, you know, points that are kind of lingering around, we can kind of vacuum those up. A pretty interesting um, and awesome feature, I feel. You know, instead of going to the top of the screen, uh, into into death sometimes um, we can just kind of bounce off the sides and do the and, and effectively do the same 
Boom. And why I, I, why I say we, we can't really do a 1cc is this, is this fact right here. You know, it, each level is kind of scored independently, where, as we just shown that we just did our best um, high score of this level. Unlocking some cool things, but then it kind of kicks you out, kicks you back to the, you know, main screen. So here's the second level with like with yeah some instant death. All right, take two. I kind of want to open this bad boy up with our bomb, which we didn't necessarily showcase until now, but. But yeah, pretty nasty stuff right there from, from the uh, opening of level two. You know, certainly gets to learn where your bomb button is and how to work it, how to make it function, uh, you know, before it's too late. You know, level two sounds like a good time to uh, become accustomed to defending yourself against a giant swarm of bullets out of nowhere. See pickups like that. Those are our health and our bombs. We may have discussed that already. And as you can see, there's a kind of a cool little strategy of kind of remaining at the top of the screen, using the sort of bounce effect of your bullet on the top of the screen to kind of ricochet your bombs back down. You know, we certainly, like, as I'm playing this, I certainly do want to, you know, make the, the most of my bombs. I don't really, you know, I can kind of tell as I do it that I really shouldn't be spamming or, you know, recklessly using bombs when I really shouldn't be. You know, like that orange one that just went. You know, honestly, I'm, I kind of I kind of imagine how the scoring works is that you do want to kind of pick, you know, pick your most opportune, opportune time to use your stuff. However you know, dodging everything else, it seems to be kind of like a task I'm not so sure I'm up for. You know, sometimes just to deal damage with a, a lonely bomb is, you know, maybe something I can just kind of compromise with. Mid-stage boss, I suppose. Good way of Regaining some more uh, HP, but not before taking a little bit of damage. I mean, let's. I mean, let's also add that you can't necessarily run into these bombs, the, the sort of orange and uh, blue ones. The burst, I believe, do not hurt you. However, as they stay in the stage, you can't run into them. They're essentially bullets themselves. So there is a, you know, there's something to say that you you can't you, you know, you do want them to stick around so you can combo them, but you. You do hinder your, your your movement or your ability to kind of bounce around the stage however you like and 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 dodge things. You know, granted, you know, you know, taking a hit of damage isn't the most devastating thing ever, but you know, when you are using one life to complete a whole stage and you kinda wanna do all the little extra battles with the boss, you know, and do right with you know, do right with the world, you know, you really can't afford to make you know, too many stupid little mistakes. Level two, boss, careful. He's got a sort of short, uh, short range weapon that kind of converts into these little bullets everywhere. So immediately now we're sort of forced to move around the screen, avoiding future and past attacks with these bullets. Really wasted that, those three orange bombs just a second ago. Holy damn. You 
And you can also tell when the bullets are multicolored. You know, the white bullets, they'll take one attack and they'll disappear. And then, but once they start um, having colors like yellow here or the blue, or even um, further colors uh, later on in the game, they take more than one hit to actually dissolve or to, you know, to destroy. So, you know, it add, that then does add an extra level of complexity to, you know, you know, should you wait for your big bombs? And, you know, overall, the, the game is kind of saying, yes, you fucking idiot, you know, wait for your big combos and, and punish, uh, punish these, uh, you know, enemies. It's just a matter of, you know, like, you know, the good old, good old adage of just get good, you know. You know, luckily, this attack here is lending itself to a lot of combos where these it looks like a lot of these bombs are spawning right on top of them and you just kind of have to go around in your circle and I mean we're not seeing everything but yeah you can see right well that was unfortunate but you can see that there's yeah Grab that as well. And again, I'm not really sure what exactly that is, but it, it does seem to be at least an icon on the sort of unlockable screen. So it's certainly something that we should concern ourselves with. To what degree, I'm not sure. But, you know, at least, I think, give it our, give it our try. Give it our a good go, as it were. Is that a, I don't even know if that's a thing. Is that a thing? The old college try. done is done despite his efforts the dude in blue prevails what do you what could you expect brought a knife to a gunfight one of the lamest dumbest joke ever not the not the best we've done but certainly the uh, most complete question mark all right guys that's it for this video come back we'll play some more but until then, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, do a lot of stuff, and we'll play some more in the future.